Hey guys, it's Matt. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most iconic villains of all time. He's the leader of Batman's rogues gallery and his arch nemesis. This is the Joker Premium Format by Sideshow Collectibles. Let's get into it. All right, let's have a look at this absolutely incredible art box that this piece comes with. You've got this big piece with a giant piece of artwork of the Joker statue itself, kind of posterized and comic line art eyes on the cover here. You got this neat Joker title treatment and sideshow premium format right here at the bottom. This motif of the Joker goes all the way around with this ha ha and you've got card suits on the back. You've got sort of a, what maybe would look like the back of one of his playing cards on the sides here. And then on the top, you have that same Joker treatment on that ha ha background. And on the bottom, you have your copyright information and your numbering. This is number 707 of 750. This is the exclusive version, so it's gonna come with a couple extra things that we'll get to, that we'll talk about when we get to them. All right, let's bring it in close, get this thing put together and talk about it. All right, we're gonna start with this really incredible base. Now, on the bottom here, we have a title treatment just per usual with the Joker, the Sideshow logo, and then premium format figure. You've got your numbering, 707 of 750, and then you've got your DC, and all of your copyright information at the bottom here. It's a nice little three color treatment. You got the purple, the white, and the silver. Really clean, clear, and I like it. Now the base itself is this cool uh, Gotham uh, medallion that's being cracked with this semi-translucent gas cloud coming out from around it. Next, you have Joker's pogo stick. Now this is a really fun and whimsical piece. It's uh, got a big old Joker fist at the bottom here with a spring. It looks like it's made of wood and metal and all kinds of different things. And on the baby face here, you can see there's residue from that smile gas that he uh, sprays all over Gotham. In the back here, you've got a full set of controls that he uses to bounce this thing around town. And there's little details like on the 8-track tape here, it actually says the Bat-2C. Um, just lots of fun little details in this piece. The baby face here looks like it's made of uh, wood. And on the back here, there's even a little Easter egg carved into the back of the face here. It says H and J's for Harley and Joker. That just slots here into the base with a good strong peg and it's real sturdy. Next, we've got the base for all the other parts and there are quite a few parts in this statue. We've got Joker's body here. Now, this is a fully sculpted piece. There is no mixed media in this one. So if you're not a fan of mixed media, you're gonna love this piece. The fabric sculpting is top notch overall. The color separations are fantastic and there's little details all throughout where you can see that Joker does everything he can to keep this, this suit together because, you know, it's been established that Joker is more about the chaos of everything than the money, so he wouldn't really be putting a whole lot into keeping this thing together. And he wants a specific look and he's gonna do everything he can to make that happen. And you see that here in this, uh, in this suit. Um, the bottom of his feet has a custom tread. It says, ha, ha, ha. The steel toes on his shoes have Joker heads. You've got sculpted buckles. You've got multiple uh, texture treatments on his shoes. And things like individual buttons are really cleanly sculpted and really clear. He's got a little Batman brooch here and knives all across in a bandolier. He slots into the spicicle seat just like that. And even though it's a dynamic piece, it's very sturdy overall. Now I want to put his handlebars together. This is a little bit tricky. His left hand actually has a magnet in the handlebar and it clicks together like that. Now that gives you a little bit of play. So that when, oh, there's also a little speedometer on the handlebars too. Now when you put this in here, you've got a little bit of play so you can peg the hand in and then the magnet holds all the handlebars together. It's a really nice little system. Now, there's a few extra parts for the pogo stick here uh, to put it all together. You've got these foot pedals with these kind of whimsical feet, like if you had on like a VW bus back in the 70s. That fits the Joker's aesthetic real nice. He doesn't really use them. He's got his feet flying all over the place. But those slot right into the side there. And those are just a tension hold. There's not any magnets or anything. So be careful with those if you move the statue around. Then you have a little soda cup on a cup holder and that fits right in the side there with the magnet you've got the hat and the horn 
It goes right on top. And then last but not least, you've got a gear shift. I don't really know how a gear shift would work on a uh, vehicle like this, but the Joker has it all figured out. And that goes right on there. And once those are all complete, you've got a really, really detailed piece in this pogo stick. This, this statue overall is one that uh, needs to be seen in person to be appreciated. Now, last but definitely not least, you've got the hand and the portrait. So this is the collector's edition accessory. This is his fish gun. It's got lots of details here. You've got the, the ammunition drum that's got a smile sculpted into it and one of his smiling fish jammed onto the front. It goes right there in his right hand. And then you have this really fantastic portrait. This one's a little more realistic, I guess you could say. Um, it's kind of got uh, sort of a toned down green and some scarring around his mouth. Goes right there, and there you've got the collector's edition of this Joker Premium format. Now this is the exclusive, so let me show you those pieces. The exclusive comes with sort of a, what I would call a more cartoony portrait. It's still very realistic, but the, the hair is a little more bright green. Uh, his face is very clean. He doesn't have any scarring or beaten up or anything like that. It kind of harkens back to the original appearance of the Joker with a really long smile. And then he's got a cake for Batsy here. Says uh, he's a jolly good Batsy. He's got his hand sculpted onto the back. I love the fingerless gloves. Sort of an off-white, super pale purple fingernails. Lots of detail everywhere. And then there's a little dynamite candle for Batman to try and blow out. And that slot's right here. And there you've got the exclusive edition of this statue. If you're familiar with comics, DC, the Batman universe at all, you know exactly who this is. You know what he's capable of, and you kind of get this whole aesthetic, this whole uh, whimsical but dangerous at the same time thing. And this statue captures that idea perfectly. Uh, the details that are included uh, from top to bottom are just a sight to behold, and it's actually become one of my favorite statues, uh, especially my villain statues um, across the board. Let's start at the bottom and uh, talk a little bit about the base. Now, we've got this really cool Gotham City uh, medallion. It's sort of the great seal of Gotham City. So he's maybe jumped into City Hall or something like that. He's sprayed his smile gas and it's getting all over the place and he's smashing Gotham um, right. I mean, and this is a big, heavy medallion. So whatever this pogo stick can do, you can see that it can do a lot of damage. Now, this, uh, this gas here all around the bottom is actually translucent. So it does pick up light in a lot of different ways. Um, I've got soft boxes, so it's kind of evenly lit in here, but if you've got spotlights or backlighting or anything like that, it does pick up some of those things. Um, it's a really, really neat uh, composition and I like it a lot. Uh, all these little pieces, all these little um, uh, bronze pieces of this seal are like individually cast, painted, weathered, and then they're all assembled. I don't know how many pieces this is made of, but it's more than just one and it really shows. Next, you've got this incredible, uh, this incredible base. I guess, I mean, you could kind of say this isn't really the base. This is the figure. The figure starts right here at the pogo stick. Um, so you could think of all of this as the figure, not just the Joker. But you could also think of this as the base and this is the figure. It's really up to you. I like to think of this whole thing as a really complex figure. Uh, and it just kind of, for me, it's just like a sense of value. But I really like thinking of it that way. Uh, this pogo stick has this spring and this glove and the stitching on this glove is amazing like it looks like it's all fully sculpted but it looks like it's stitched out of leather it's got leather uh texture all over it and the anatomy of the fist punching into the ground here is just perfect like you would always expect uh, but these multi varied textures like you've got this paint effect that makes this look like wood this looks like real metal it's got flex um, silver flex and damage in it like it's been through a little bit of battle or something like that the, uh, the feet pegs here, um, there's little bolts that are molded and sculpted in. There's tread on the front here. If you've ever seen one of these in real life, um, that's just what they look like, that kind of classic barefoot gas pedal. And then you've got little things like this. Uh, this is a Chug, uh, I don't even know what it is, Chug brand drink, and it's even on the lid. And there's like little Diet or Dr. Pepper or whatever. There's little there's little indicators that can be punched punched in on the top. So just detail all around. And then on the on the top of the 
of the pogo stick. There's even a key to start it. So he's got a stereo installed. He's got like a pressure gauge or something like that. There's like a speedometer right here. The gear shift that I talked about earlier, the horn, uh, little Harley and Joker carved into the back. Just stuff that just, it just doesn't come out in the uh, gallery photos that you see online. But once you get it in hand, it just, it's, it, it blows me away. His suit is this really cool deep purple. It's not too bright, not too cartoony. So it brings it into the 3D space very, very convincingly. And the purple of this glove and the purple of his suit are just a little bit different. Um, and, a and this purple here is different as well. So you've got kind of a medium, a really bright, and then a dark purple. Uh, the suit is like a tails suit, like a tuxedo suit, but custom made. Um, so it's got all these weird details you wouldn't see on a normal suit that you can buy. Uh, there's little brass buttons sculpted in and there's things like patches on the knee and on his back here it's been splitting apart so he's got it stitched together uh, which I really like because if you were super super active in a suit like that you are going to split seams um, even if it's fitted to you but if you look deep inside that split you can see the color of his shirt is painted in there and then the purple painted over the top so you've got multi-layering um, in this single sculpted piece and it's really really cool. He's got this dark green bow tie, a bright green vest, even his belt buckle is brass. Uh, his belt is painted orange and you can see it in the back here. And the inside of his jacket is orange as well. There's both portraits together. You can kind of see the differences. You got this one that's open mouth laughing. He's kind of licking his teeth. This one's just a sinister smile. But you can see not only are the colors of the hair different, the hairstyles are different. This is kind of the classic original Batman kind of swept up points on the sides, combed back, and the paint is just beautiful. It's a dark green with light green shading. And this is kind of a medium, almost a moss green. And the hair is a little more modern. It's kind of got a choppy short haircut with a long top. Both of them have these pointy sinister eyebrows. And honestly, I don't have a favorite portrait. I change them all the time. Uh, I like them both quite a bit. The teeth are really well sculpted, nice and glossy. And there's a sparkle in the eyes. Uh, really, this is a, a, a fun piece. I'm going to put the collector's edition portrait back on there. That's the other thing too. You can mix and match like the collector's edition portrait with the exclusive cake or vice versa. I actually think this portrait works well with this gun. So overall, this piece is um, an absolute must buy. If you haven't picked it up yet, you absolutely should. Um, I display him next to the Scarecrow premium, premium format. Um, maybe because like the gas thing, I don't know, but they're two of my favorite villains and uh, they go well together. So do I recommend this statue? Absolutely. Yes, I do. Very highly recommend it. Uh, it is still available on Sideshow as of filming this. So jump well, the, the collector's edition is. The exclusive edition, I believe, is sold out, um, but you're not missing out on a whole lot with the collector's edition because it is a very uh, fun and imposing piece that has a lot of great shelf presence and uh, I think it's worth being in your collection. So uh, jump on Sideshow, uh, look up the Joker Premium Format and you'll find them and grab them before they're all gone. Get yours today and uh, flesh out that rogues gallery. Give Batman someone to fight against. Happy collecting. Did you enjoy that video? Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.